Hello everyone. I know my English is bad, but uh, this video and the following ones will be in English because I am tired to make subtitles. So in this video I will show you how to make uh, things uh, look uh, bigger inside using stencil buffer. Uh, and uh, uh, this portal will be an example. Uh, so uh, I will show you how to make uh, that portal from this. So I need to hide the portal and make it visible using only intersection with this model. Uh, I could use uh, just a model, but I put my model in the particle system. I don't know why. <laughs> So all these materials use only one by shader and uh, we need uh, to hide them. Uh, so you need to open the shader. You can use uh, notepad, uh, standard notepad and uh, paste uh, these lines of code to subshader and also this line to properties. And uh, save. Now we can uh, see um, all these materials, but uh, they are exist. And uh, now we need uh, to to use uh, stencil mask uh, shader to make visible intersection with uh, this model and uh, uh, elements from uh, this shader. So let's create a new shader. Shader, only shader, and I will name it Stan Seal Mask. You also need to open uh, the shader from Explorer and uh, and uh, select all, delete all lines of code, all lines of code, and uh, copy this code. I will uh, left uh, the link to it uh, in the de description and just paste it. So when uh, the raft will be the same uh, for mask and uh, portal materials, we will uh, see uh, when will be as interest is the intersection you will see the result. So uh, I need to save this shader and uh, create a material from from it. This material will be transparent because the shader is empty, but uh, it uh, allows us to see. Where is it? It allows uh, to see uh, the ground. Ah, uh, also we need to change blend shader. Uh, we need to delete the text, the test like uh, because we put uh, the test always. And now we can see the result, but. Uh, uh, we need uh, to make uh, uh, mask uh, uh, one-sided, not uh, cool but cool front. And uh, we can uh, see intersection because it's a ref number from uh, uh, portal materials are the same as for a stencil mask, but if we change the value, uh, the intersection will not happen. So now, if you want to make portal double-sided, it's not enough to uh, turn it uh, 
copy and turn it uh, 190 degrees because uh, the, res the result will be very bad because uh, we will see all two sides of the portal so we need copy all materials uh, from from uh, the portal and uh, uh, change ref name ref number uh, to 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 another for example first materials uh, use uh, uh, use uh, ref number one but uh, second uh, use uh, ref number two and uh, we need to copy stencil mask uh, uh, turn it uh, mm, Backside, create uh, new material and change uh, ref number the same as for the second portal. And uh, and uh, now we can see the result. All uh, one side use ref number two and uh, the, the other side another side use ref number one uh, also uh, uh, you can put this portal for example to the ground and the result will be quite interesting and uh, you can uh, create a lot of uh, cool effects with uh, uh, stencil buffer that's all for today and see you in the next video